All right, greeting Peanutians, and welcome to a little bit of another episode of Peanut Reads. This time a little bit different. This one is going to be an episode of Maple Seas update, mostly because there's a lot of interesting things that come out from it, and mostly because also the fact that sometimes when they get stuff, we get stuff because they also get stuff from KMS a little bit earlier than us. So this makes me think that, hey, might get a head start because who knows we actually might be able to get this in GMS and once again to those that didn't hear me this is Maple C's update of what they're calling pre chaser patch I don't know what this is in reference to maybe there's something they're doing specific for Maple C exclusively outside of KMS so who knows maybe we may get it maybe we won't get it I don't know but nonetheless their updates are interesting enough for me to actually go over it I've already read a good amount of it so it's a little bit less of a surprise but hey hopefully it's a surprise for you well and also if anyone actually wants to link to the patch notes for uh, Maple C's ch pre, the pre chaser patch notes I will have it in the description so let's get started table of contents we have the following five highlights well more like four one is the guild castle improvements you're gonna love this one Maple Daily give improvements, boss reward improvements, and Kana skill adjustment. Kana's exclusively. So, this is going to be outside of what I was expecting for the balance patch that was going to be coming along from KMS that, you know, the respective regions that are in charge of Sengoku and the other classes that aren't here yet, or in KMS, we're going to be doing. So, I'm assuming this is separate. But let's get started. Give us some improvements. Developer notes. Developer notes. Love this. Gives us a direction. Gives us a freaking specifics. Gives us actually reasons of why they're doing things. With this patch, the guild castle has been revamped with the addition of new research and existing research levels. You can get additional karma purple cubes. I'm assuming these are their meisters. And newly added Soul Erda fragments. If I remember correctly, um, it was Taiwan MS that got this update first i could be wrong but nonetheless this was a big heated topic that a lot of people wanted when they saw this actually updated for that region of mention so yeah if maple c gets it who knows we might get it too which it might actually encourage me to actually do guild castle from now on which were highly sought after by maplers exactly also the obtainable experience value from the monsters in the country has been increased so oh the exp might just become even more like more better more better that doesn't make sense a lot better don't get me wrong, Guild Castle EXP was good already once you get to the further levels of research and the further levels of that you actually got for it, but it was more negligible, if anything. Plus, there wasn't really any other incentive, because you got a lot of rewards that you didn't really need, and the EXP was good, but I would I found it personally better to just go train in actual maps. But if this increases it enough, and if we get it too, this might be very, very good. The fragments alone is going to make me do it nonetheless, but extra EXP? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> but as for the rewards, core gemstone, I'm, I do believe there's a node stone. This is just showing what is being improved upon or added or increased in terms of value or increased amount. So once again, there are red flames, Meister cubes, I'm assuming that's the Meister. Our kids selectors, yeah, pretty much the minimum payouts are just what they are. They're not that good. But once we get a little bit further, same thing, same thing, same usual things. And the Erda fragments. You can get any, it's, it's random quality, so it's not guaranteed but hey extra exp extra frags i'll take it we have anywhere from zero to five and this is only the first ones that i believe that they're going to be added they're only level one and two so the follow-up follow-up research levels or researches for the personal one should be increasing by a good amount yeah, plus one current energy level, yep, 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 plus more, plus more. I don't know how that really affects it in terms of actual, like, numerical, like, distribution, but it should be a lot more. And this one, you got a bunch that are just guaranteed minimum amounts. It goes up, like, two minimum, or more specifically, zero minimum, up to nine. But since this is the minimum payout, it's going to be nine at the minimum. That's a lot. Yeah, sure, it's only per week, but still, frags are frags, EXP is EXP. Put those two together. Gives us even more reason to do it. More frags. And this one is plus six times current energy level. I don't know what this means for Guild Castle. Maybe it's like specific verbiage that we're using for it. But nonetheless, plus six times. More Erda frags. Still really good. And this is just going to be the EXP that they're improving upon as well. I don't remember what the base multiplier was. But like I mentioned. Like I mentioned. Frags and EXP. Don't mind if I do. Let's see what else. Yeah, just more XP on this one. New individuals really unlocked authentic force for zone fires. Oh, so I just I think it's just further areas that we can unlock. I guess I guess I need to start doing it too then. 
Well, I do have Janus, so that is that does make it really infinitely easier. So we can do that. Uh, yes, yeah, Guild Council Weekly for reset for Maple C. It's also being moved to Thursday, which I do kind of like. Everything if you're gonna move, you know, regular Guild stuff, you might as well move Guild Castle as well. Let's see. Come on, research for time reduction. Jumping on the castle. Oh, uh, so it's just adjusting stuff for the reset. Hopefully, they don't mess it up like GMS did. Let's see. Put the inner notes for Guild Castle Weekly and rewards. Da, da, da. Do we know reset? Okay, so same thing they did for us when they did the guild potions changes that they still haven't fixed yet. Got it. And the next portion of this update for them is the da Maple Daily Gift Improvements. So, the, just the 300 kills per uh, day thing. So, yeah, some of their rewards are different. Some of these things I don't recognize. But yeah, so essentially, spell traces increases. They're usable for them because I don't think they have reboot. And their 2Xs are getting turned into 3Xs. And Yellow Cube... Cube, cube. I'm assuming it's just their master cubes, or which is the solid cubes in GMS. I'm still not used to the new names, but yeah, they're getting three X's. Not bad. And then the boss reward update. Through this boss reward improvement, it has been adjusted so that you can obtain more yellow and purple cubes, which I'm telling, assuming is definitely going to be their master and master cubes. Low utility items can so no longer be obtained, so no more garbage items like take up your inventory, but you also have been adjusted to get more resurrection flames. Through boss oh, so more rift flames. Okay. So for them, some of the, like, the bosses are getting added. These drop rates. So we got, yeah, okay, flames, flames, flames. Ooh, rainbow flames from these are increasing the drop. Wait, additional. Does that mean they never had it to begin with? Well, that kind of sucks. But hey, they're getting it now. The junk nail. Translation of names. My God, that's a the dunk. The junk nail. Yeah, that's kind of funny to me. All right. And yep, more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. What's gonna be cut out into tiers? Additional reward. No to drop rate. Uh, okay, so the uh, the extra stuff aren't affected by drop rate. Like some okay, uh, we'll take it. It's still something. Yeah. So this is pretty much just adding stuff. And then this one. This one is really confusing. Like why? What did they? Did this come out from the other re like the region of origin? Which I think was either China MS or Taiwan MS. I can't remember which one of those it came from. But I don't remember hearing anything about this. So this this is interesting. In the case of Cherry Blossom Barrier and Kana, it did not defend against many boss attacks as it was, has as it has its specifications. Yeah, this this skill was quite useless in a lot of bosses. I think, for example, a uh, V Hila, people just never really used it. I never used it because of that reason, so I just used the boss barrier instead of the Cherry Blossom Barrier, which is the pink barrier, which is commonly known as. So yeah, number to Battle Mage's Shelter. Yeah, that one. That Battle Mage's Shelter skill actually did a lot because of some of the time we could change it to apply damage in all attacks. Okay, in addition to binding skills, we've changed to increase the range to suit the effect of either com either eth oh, ether combo. I'll get at something else and provide convenience. However, some performance will be adjusted together with this update, considering that this change will excessively increase the carrier balls on skills performance. If you guys can hear that, I do apologize. There's a freaking ambulance outside. All right, Cherry Blossom Barrier, which is the pink barrier. HP reduction has been reduced. The duration has been reduced. The damage reduction has been reduced as well. But instead, it now defends against some instant death attacks and damage reduction effect applied to HP-based damage. So, this is the highlight, which makes sense to reduce the others because if you didn't reduce it and you actually made this function actually work, which is hilarious. Apparently, it was not by, you know, bug. It was by design that it didn't work, which is... Pathetically stupid for that, but yeah. That's the end of hyper skills. Effect range has been improved. Effective range. Oh, does it make it bigger? Hmm. Interesting. Cooldown has been reduced as well. And yeah. I think these are just gonna be in general improvements and error fixes. I mean general improvements and bug fixes. That's the improvement damage been returned to the line to the center. Really? Oh dear god, I actually see it. I see that it's actually off center. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, no, that's all. That's actually all they had. Man, yeah, nonetheless, got some really big stuff here. Yeah, Gila Castle being the biggest highlight in my opinion. Adding Urda frags. The question is, are we getting it in GMS? Yeah. I don't normally do this because this is Maple C, but this was. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier in the video, because Maple C and GMS are pretty much like back to back in terms of updates. We follow KMS and they follow KMS, but they get stuff earlier. This makes me hope 
that the Earth of Frags portion of the uh, Guild Castle change comes to GMS as well. Because this would be very nice. Plus, it actually encourages people to use Guild Castle as a, you know, a feature, oh, not a feature, as a piece of content to actually play. So, hey. I applaud them. Who knows? Maybe we'll get it too. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. And with that being said, we're pretty much done. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.